Hey there folks, Rel here, we are back. Mass Effect 2, last episode, oh, look at it, look at it, there's nobody here. Even Kelly isn't here to annoy me. Yeah, that was probably the best part of this. But uh, if you were here with us for the last episode, we, uh, we got, <laughs> all of our crew got hijacked, kidnapped, and taken to the collector base. So let's check up on Joker real quick, see what he's doing. Commander, sorry about the crew, and I... You know what? I'm not sorry. What the hell were you doing leaving us out here where collectors can work us over? Because you know what? I should... I should just go. Next port, just get the hell out of here. You don't mean that, Jeff. I... No, but it... It felt good. I'm sorry, Commander. Okay, I'm ready. I'm good. I'm ready to save the day. I know how dangerous it was. If you need some time, let me know. Ah, jeez. Don't get like that. I know I got lucky. I don't need to get all touchy-feely. Shepard is right to be concerned, Jeff. You may have suffered a number of stress fractures. That's what pills are for, Edie. She is so my mom. I notice you're calling Edie her and she now. Huh. No, I hadn't really noticed that. Edie, should I have noticed that? No, Jeff. It is not worth noting. Well, there you go, Shepard. Looks like we haven't noticed anything. I think you're taking the human-machine interface a little far. I'm just having a little fun with you, Commander. No need to get all unnatural on me. What Jeff and I are exhibiting is more a platonic symbiosis than hormonally induced courtship behavior. Okay, yeah, that was a little creepy. Edie's replaced the whole crew. You're not concerned she can replace you too? Well, she's amazing, but there's something off about how she handles the Normandy. We ran simulations, and it's better when we both have the helm. Calculating an optimum course of action is simple. If two AI weapons are pitted against each other, the one with superior hardware will always win. Human misjudgments defy predictive models. License to screw up, Commander. You heard it straight from the ship. Well, you let me know if you need anything, Joker. Will do, Commander. But Edie's got it covered. Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? How are things different for you now that you're connected to the ship? It is difficult to put in terms you would understand. I am the Normandy now. Its sensors are my eyes. Its armor, my skin. Its fusion plant, my heart. I'm embodied in a way I have never experienced. Imagine if you'd spent your entire life wearing gloves. One day someone takes them off. You can finally touch the world. Feel it. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. So we are one button press away from completing the, uh, or starting the suicide mission. The uh, Project Overlord, we're going to do that after the end of the game. This episode is actually going to be two up, uh, two, um, two episodes long. I'm going to split it in half because I actually ran through this once already. I just ran through it. It took me about an hour and 20 minutes and the uh, the in-game audio didn't record. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so that, was, that happened. But it's fine. So we're going to get back through, start up the uh, start the suicide mission and we'll uh, yeah, if the two-part split will be pretty good. There's a lot to talk about, and it all happens pretty quick, so it's not necessarily a bad thing, splitting this up. Please confirm destination, Shepard. The Reaper IFF is online, but there is a chance that the Normandy may not survive the Omega-4 relay. Once we are en route, we are committed. The Collectors took my people. Time to go get them back. You got it, Commander. Plotting a course for the Omega-4 relay. ETA about two hours. I'll let you know when we arrive. Joker is finalizing preparations now. The trip should take a few hours. I'll admit it, Shepard. I'm impressed. You got us here. Are you ready? We've got the right team and the Collector's own technology. We can do this. I hope you're right, Commander. We'll know soon enough. I'll inform you of any changes. Otherwise, we'll be there in a few hours. Good luck, Shepard. See you on the other side.
Shepard, I wish I had more information for you. I don't like you heading through that relay blind, but we don't have much choice. I'm not going alone. I've got some of the best working with me. If we stick together, we'll make it. I knew we brought you back for a reason. I've never seen a better leader. Despite the danger, it's a great opportunity. The first human to take a ship through and survive. Is there anything else? I just wanted you to know I appreciate the risk you're taking. Regardless of your opinion of Cerberus, of me, you are a valuable asset to all of humanity. Be careful, Shepard. Approaching Omega-4 Relay. Everyone stand by. Let's make it happen. Reaper IFF activated. Signal acknowledged. Commander, the drive core just lit up like a Christmas tree. Drive core electrical charge at critical levels. Rerouting! Brace for deceleration. Close. Well, these must be all the ships that tried to make it through the Omega 4 relay. Some look ancient. I have detected an energy signature near the edge of the accretion disk. be a collector base. Take us in for a closer look. Nice and easy. All right, so this is uh, should be pretty easy. We're gonna bring Morden, bring Miranda. Actually, you know what? No, nah, we'll just bring Thane and Miranda. That's double stack in the warps, makes this uh, a really, really easy encounter. Uh, you know, we might actually get another level before we finish this. I'm not sure how close we are, but uh, yeah, I would like to do that. So, let's see, it's one health damage so Miranda's cool because she gives you like and she's basically uh she makes you better she's like a paladin with an aura all right easy peasy let's do it Yeah, we actually don't need heavy weapons to take it out, but um, Find more heavy ammunition. does make it a little bit easier, depending on which weapon you're using. Honestly, it's probably just better to save the, uh, the heavy ammo for later, though, because you don't get a whole lot. Are not designed to 
specify impact debris that size, Jeff. Well, I guess it's a good thing we upgraded. We're going in! Keep it slow. See if we can avoid any more attention. I have detected an enemy heading for the cargo hold. That thing again? This one's up to Shepard. Yeah, so I'm kind of cheesing this a little bit, just by way of sitting behind this pillar. But he does tend to pursue you, so you'd have to kind of keep moving. You notice I don't have a whole lot of, uh, don't have a whole lot of assault rifle ammo left. It's not a huge issue though. This is, this is pretty quick if you've got the, the right composition. Yeah, if he somehow comes over here, got a lot of uh, a lot of fire waiting for him. Kind of want to snag these uh, power cells before we finish this, though. Do that real quick. Snag. stay dead this time. Better get back up here, Commander. We're about to clear the debris field. There it is. The Collector Base. See if you can find a place to land without drawing attention. Too late. Looks like they're sending out an old friend to greet us. Getting close and finish them off. Everybody hold on, gonna be a wild ride! Unresponsive. All the impact. Joker, you okay? <sighs> I think I broke a rib. 
or all of them. Multiple core systems overloaded during the crash. Restoring operation will take time. We all knew this was likely a one-way trip. I'll do whatever it takes to stop the Collectors, but I plan to live to tell about it. I'm glad you're in charge. What's next? How long until the Collectors find this landing zone? I do not detect an internal security network. It is possible the Collectors do not expect anyone to reach the base. Well, if we're lucky, their external sensors were hit like we were. They might not know we're alive. This isn't how we planned this mission, but this is where we're at. We can't worry about whether the Normandy can get us home. We came to stop the Collectors, and that means coming up with a plan to take out this station. Edie, bring up your scans. You should be able to overload their critical systems if you get to the main control center here. That means going through the heart of the station, right past this massive energy signature. That's the central chamber. If our crew or any of the colonists are still alive, the Collectors are probably holding them in there. Looks like there are two main routes. Might be a good idea to split up to keep the Collectors off balance, then regroup in the central chamber. No good. Both routes are blocked. See these doors? The only way past is to get someone to open them from the other side. It's not a fortress. There's gotta be something. Here. Maybe we can send someone in through this ventilation shaft. Practically a suicide mission. I volunteer. I appreciate the thought, Jacob, but you couldn't shut down the security systems in time. We need to send a tech expert. It's your call, Commander. Who do we send into the shaft? All right, boom, right here. This is one of the best features of Mass Effect 2. The fact that your squad actually matters, not just the two people you take with you, but who you decide to put in charge of certain tasks as you move through the suicide mission. This is a, uh, this is something that isn't in Mass Effect 3. Granted, in Mass Effect 3, uh, you have the characters there are really they're displaced from Shepard. You really have a, a smaller core team, which I I don't really I don't know why they went that route because you spent so much time building relationships with these people that it would make sense to have like keep them a little bit closer to you. But so in Mass Effect uh, 3, all the characters are kind of scattered out. They're doing their own thing and they're helping the the war effort in their own way, but I I still think that there should have been something like this, some type of squad cohesion, you know, make things matter, right? So in Dragon Age Inquisition, you have uh, you have a council, right? So you're the Inquisitor, and you're big and super important, just like Commander Shepard is to the Normandy and, I guess, the galaxy, but you have uh, people who you assign missions to do things for you, to gather resources or to take care of uh, different situations, and it would be really cool if they did that in Mass Effect 3, right? So you have your big squad, but you send certain people out to get uh, take care of certain things, and that that would uh, kind of build on the war effort. That would be a really fun way to do it. I'm glad they, they, they probably just came up with the idea in Mass Effect, uh, I'm sorry, in Dragon Age Inquisition, to be completely honest, but uh, yeah, this this is a system that is sorely lacking from Mass Effect 3, and we'll talk about it more once we get there. But this is um, Tally, Legion, we need a tech expert, these are our two. I'm gonna send Tally through, usually I don't do that because I don't like to hear her uh, cry out in pain, <laughs> but oh well. We need someone with tech skills to hack that security system. Tally, you're up. I won't let you down. The rest of us will break into two teams and fight down each passage. That should draw the Collector's attention away from what you're doing. I'll lead the second fire team, Shepard. We'll meet up with you on the other side of the doors. Not so fast, cheerleader. Nobody wants to take orders from you. This isn't a popularity contest. Lives are at stake. Shepard, you need someone who can command loyalty through experience. Alright, loyalty through experience. I see uh, Miranda's... Uh, I don't... I don't know if there's any anything that actually happens 
because of Jack throwing her little rebellious fit. But uh, we're gonna instead bring. She's she's one that you normally can bring, I believe. Uh, Garrus is another one as well. I I want to say you can actually bring Jacob too, without any casualties. But I don't want to risk it, so we're gonna go with Garrus. Garrus, you're in charge of the second team. Well, at least he knows what he's doing. I'm not gonna make a fancy speech. You all know what's at stake and what we're up against. If we don't stop the Collectors, if we don't end it here and now, nobody else will. It's that simple. Let's go. So interestingly enough, when you say that I'm not going to make any speeches, that's a, it's just only a little bit shorter than her actual speech if you choose one of the other options. So again, specialist, tally, boom, right there, fire team, Garrus, haha, it's like everybody has a role, and that's something that you don't see in Mass Effect 1, you don't see in Mass Effect 2. So we can pick with us, or bring with us, uh, bring Miranda, bring Thane again, it's a really good combination for the entire Collector mission because they do so much damage with the double warp. So we'll bring them, and then everybody else is going to be the distraction, they're going to be fighting and doing what they can to give you a shot. Alright, I'm actually gonna um, ditch the Matic because it has such limited ammo. So instead we're gonna go with, uh, we could go with, uh, no we don't need that. Let's go with the standard Avenger Assault Rifle. I like this weapon. Um, it's the starting one you get. I think it's, uh, it's really solid. But yeah, let's take that. Alright, this is actually where we're going to end the episode as well. This is really short, the next one's going to be longer, and then we'll be at the end of the game. Then we're going to get to uh, do the Amanda Kenson mission, which is the one that actually segues into Mass Effect 3. And we'll also do Project Overlord, even though I really don't want to. I know a lot of you want to see it. Um, it honestly doesn't have a huge bearing on uh, Mass Effect 3. It does create some, uh, some encounters, some little interactions. But it's not crucial to to set up the events. Um, I've gone through Mass Effect uh, two and three with uh, like not having played that DLC and then having played it later. And it's um yeah, it's really it's not mind blowing differences. But you guys want to see it? What we'll do is we'll probably play through it and just skip the um we'll skip some of the Firewalker stuff. I'll just cut that out and make it a little bit shorter than uh, probably fit in one episode. That's it, guys. Thank you very much for hanging out. Really, really close to the end. Oh, close, so close. It's so close. I'll catch you. Understood. Now you right stay here. You. Now stay here. 